Hello there everybody. I regret that I have to film this species inside of a dirty old moth cage. But there's just no other way. This species is being so wild and unco uncooperative. For me it's impossible to film them outside without any chance of them escaping. Here we see a male which is non-stop trying to fly away and the female is already gone so I guess this is the only way because I don't want to release any of these outside and if I want to have any eggs I have to keep them in captivity here we have a male of the female of the of the Japanese oak silk moth Anterea Yamamai which is one of the most commonly bred species of Saturnidae in captivity and traditionally they have been bred for a long time for the purpose of silk production it's a very beautiful moth with variable colors they can be yellow, they can be brown, they can be orange they can be anything and they are very easy to raise on oak tree but also other kinds of trees like cherry and willow although the best for them is really oak I have one small female that's even smaller than a male and a normally sized male uh, I guess to show you the colors of the male I have to handle him a little bit let's see how you can best do this here we go I'm sorry for having to handle him like this but I'm experienced with this and for one time it does not really damage the male let's try and get a good focus because uh, here can we see some nice chocolate brown colors and some beautiful eye spots it's a really nice and pretty species as you can see and I hope this male will make some love to his, this yellow form female but as you can see there's just no chance of filming these moths without them attempting to fly away which is a shame oh and by the way this cage is dirty but it works fine and it's no problem for the insects themselves I guess it's hard to keep them clean when you breed the great amount of moths that I do the eggs of this species overwinter and they have one generation a year and the adult moths they emerge in fall and summer they come from Asia but they have also been introduced to Europe by accident and now they can be found in the Balkans and some parts of the Mediterranean Sea thanks for watching and until next time